rest in peace out on the children. Victory today. They've gone down. The reaction from Mick Philpott's sister, having seen him jailed for life. Maraid's sister was in court too and applauded the sentence. Quick word on seeing your sister jailed. Sorry, I haven't got anything to say. Does it help you today? But had nothing to, to say. In court, the judge called the house fire a wicked and dangerous plan that the six children had no chance of surviving. She said Mick Philpott had craved publicity, enjoyed the limelight, was selfish all his life and faked his grief. She told him, You are a disturbingly dangerous man. Your guiding principle is, what Mick Philpott wants, Mick Philpott gets. You have no moral compass. I have not the slightest doubt that you were the driving force behind this shockingly dangerous enterprise. The man Mick tried to frame for the killings is relieved it's all over. I know my innocence has been proved. You know, I've got nothing to worry about. I can go to bed tonight and go sleep quite easily. He's got to live with this for the rest of his life. The judge said Maraid's grief at losing her children was genuine and there were tears from her in the dock today as she was jailed. The judge told her, I accept you feel their loss profoundly. Your children were your route to fulfilment. You loved them and you cared for them. You put Michael Philpott above your children and, as a result, they have died. But this former friend says none of today's jail terms are long enough. They should get life sentences and it should mean that they do life, not where they come out on parole or licence. They don't deserve to have their lives back, they deserve nothing. Them children have got nothing so they deserve nothing. Paul Mosley was also jailed. The judge said all three were responsible for the fire and the deaths. After all the weeks of evidence, all the drama in court, all the denials, now the prison sentence begins. There was one final gesture of defiance from Mick Philpott, a smile and fingers raised towards the public gallery. The judge said if his plan had worked, the children would have paid for it with terror, having to be rescued from their burning home, but that instead they'd paid with their lives.